forecast first. Here's the live Doppler Storm Team, brought to you by your super Chevy dealers of Acadiana. Good morning and welcome into Pos Pots. Who will welcome back if you've been joining us earlier this morning? That time just turned to 6.30. We have some cold and frosty weather again this morning. Temperatures right back in the low to mid 30s and we're seeing that below freezing north of I, or south of I-10, excuse me, so southern Acadiana dealing with frost and even fog this morning. There is some fog to deal with out there. As we head into the afternoon, beautiful day ahead. Plenty of sunshine once again and warmer temperatures as we reach into the mid upper 60s. Your news is starting now. Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is Paz Pa 2. Good morning, Acadiana, and welcome into Paz Pa 2. 6.30 on your Wednesday morning. We hope your week is off to a great start. So, Sylvia, we just watched a story about New Year's resolutions, and I told myself this year that I'm over it. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I break them. I'm the same way. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, okay, let me try just to make maybe some better habits. So one thing I've been trying to doing, I really enjoyed like painting when I was younger. Uh -huh. Now I'm not great at it, <laughs> but I've been trying to do it now. I'm not every day, but maybe like every other day. And it's been easier to keep that sort of resolution and not like sticking, you know, like every right. single day sort of thing. I, I can't tell you one that I've stuck with. Uh, ever. Hey, <laughs> I can. You've eaten way healthier these past couple years and like learned how to cook more. That's, <laughs> that is true. That's okay, I'll one. give you that. Uh, <laughs> still learning, but definitely have uh, gotten better at yeah. with it. <laughs> no, Sylvia, that is a huge one. So, Chris, okay, I know resolutions aren't your thing either, but is there anything like this year you wanted to try that you've maybe been good about? <laughs> I've been working out a little bit more on the, the Peloton. I said I was going to eat better, and then I ate uh, 10 thumbprint cookies yesterday. So, you know, it, it's coming along a, as it usually does. Another cold and frosty start, but we have some fog to go along with those frigid temperatures this morning, at least in parts of Acadiana, mostly south of I 10. Milder and sunny today. Cold front still on track for the weekend. That will change the weather for better or worse, depending on what you want to see. We'll have more on that forecast coming up here in about 10 minutes. With several states removing mask mandates, one of the country's top public health officials cautions against it amid high hospitalization rates and deaths. Laura Podesta has details. I don't think we're there right now. CDC uh, Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky says it's too soon to end mask mandates. We still have hospitalization rates that are higher than they ever were during the peak of our Delta wave and similarly for deaths still at 2300 a day. This week several states announced school mask requirements will be ending. With just 38 percent of 5 to 17 year olds fully vaccinated, Walensky says that could leave children at risk. About 96 percent of our children are in schools and that the masking has allowed them to be in school safely. That and getting our children vaccinated. New York may let its indoor mandate expire tomorrow, but keep the school mandate until vaccination numbers improve. Laura Podesta, CBS News. Here's a look now at the latest coronavirus numbers in Louisiana. The Department of Health is reporting over 2,500 new cases of COVID-19. 64 more people have lost their lives. There are currently 154 patients on ventilators. Here in Acadiana, 420 new cases of COVID-19 have been reported and eight new deaths. There are only 19 ICU beds available in the Acadiana area. Free drive through COVID-19 testing will be available today at the Lafayette, Acadia and Iberia Parish Health Units from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. The Lafayette and Vermilion Parish Health Units will be providing vaccines and booster shots at no charge today from 8 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. You can free register at the website you see on your screen. Children 5 to 17 must have a parent or guardian present, and you should bring your vaccination card for boosters. This morning, a group of voting rights activists are taking a caravan to Baton Rouge. News 10's Danielle Johnson joins us live in Lafayette to tell us why they're headed to the Capitol. Danielle, good morning. Good morning, Caroline. Uh, this, this today is all about the redistrict, redistricting takeover, and what that is is a group of coalition activists from across the state of Louisiana meeting up right here in Lafayette to uh, take their concerns to the Louisiana State Capitol. I just had a great conversation with Marja Broussard. She is with the NAACP, and she's talking to me about their efforts. She says today's event is all about being heard. Uh, the Black community is fighting. 
for better representation for the community, for black communities across Louisiana. Uh, members of these organizations tell me that in this year, uh, over the year, 200 black people across the state uh, at the opening redistricting session were turned around, were postponed, not being seen by legislation. They say overall black people make up nearly one-third of Louisiana's population, but only one of the state's six U.S. House seats is in a majority black district. And as I mentioned today, it's all about having their, uh, their voices and their concerns being heard. So today they will be leaving from the Home Depot right across the street from the Imani Temple, which is where I am, near Evangeline Thruway. They will be heading out at around 6.45 a.m. In a few minutes, they will be heading to the Louisiana uh, State Capitol. Here in Lafayette, Danielle Johnson, KLFY. Thank you, Danielle. CBS's David Begno unravels details that could free a Louisiana man who's been in prison for 44 years. Vincent Simmons was convicted in 1977 and sentenced to 100 years in prison after being accused of rape. Twin sisters are a key part of the story. Here's a preview of the original reporting you'll see later on CBS Mornings. When you were questioned by the sheriff, yes. you never gave the name Simmons. No, we did not. You never described what he looked like. No, we did not. You said all blacks in, look alike. And you said all in words. That's right. Sure did. So how are we to square the fact that that night you couldn't explain anything? You didn't have his name. You didn't know what he looked like. But now you're telling me today, and you testified at trial, that his name was Simmons. That's right. May I ask you, with all due respect? Yes. Why did you make that pack to not say anything? Why we wouldn't you scared. immediately report it? Because we were scared. He had told us, we were 14 years old, he told us that he had friends and that he would come back to kill us if we told anybody. He knew where we lived and he would come You can see more of David's story plus a shocking reveal coming up later this morning at 7 a.m. on CBS Mornings right here on KLFY. The national shortage of first responders continues to disrupt life-saving care. The National EMS Academy and Acadian Ambulance are teaming up to train and hire new EMTs and paramedics as soon as possible. A standard EMT course takes four months to complete. The new accelerated program, only offered in certain locations, condenses that to just seven weeks. Applicants are hired on as full-time employees through the ambulance service. While in school, students earn an hourly rate. Acadian covers tuition, books, and fees for the course here in Lafayette. An emergency medical responder course is offered. That course lasts 10 days, taught from Monday through Friday. Similar to the accelerated EMT course, applicants are hired on as full-time employees with tuition, books, and fees covered by the company. So not only um, is there a shortage or was there a shortage previously, we see less and less people getting into the profession of EMS um, in general after the pandemic. We have made it easier for you to learn more and sign up. Just visit our website, klfy.com, to see all the programs offered. You're taking a live look at the intersection of I-10 and I-49 in Lafayette. There are no traffic incidents to report at this time. It's now 638 on your Wednesday morning. The 36th annual Here's the Beef Cook-Off, baby, taking place on February 19th in Opelousas. I'm Gerald Brunick. Stick around. Much more coming up.